We all want to keep our phones beautiful and the best way of doing it is customizing it for free without spending money. So this is running one UI 5.1 and Google 13 and everything set to default. So first of all when you're starting we should customize the lock screen. So let's get started with that. So first of all the wallpaper is kind of trivial and not that very beautiful so let's change the wallpaper first. Uh, done. Now it's something more graphical and more beautiful. Now let's also change the clock. So I'll add vertical and I'll change the font as well to match the look of it. Now that's quite better. Done. So now if you go to the home screen you can see it's been really customized. Another thing that I have to address is the color palette which basically applies the series of colors in your wallpaper to the background. Beware that this only works in One UI 5.1 and even if you have Core, One UI 5.1 Core, it won't work really good. It might be just laggy. So you can also add it to your app icons. Now everything is purple uh, like that. So it's kind of a mix with the wallpaper too, right? Anyways, next we got to optimize our home screen since it only comes with a crappy Google widget. So we like some widgets. First we like the a Bixby Vision widget, which seems really good, and um, yeah, that should be the correct fit. Also, on One UI 5.1, you can also create stacked widgets, which will be a lot of help for our customization stuff. Like, you know, you can swipe on a widget and then it turns to another widget, and it helps you to save space. And since if you get something like four pages of widgets, even if you have a premium phone, it might be a little bit laggy because it got a loading over that extra widgets and stuff. So we'll add a dynamic weather. Done. You can also add a Gmail since the one that's most important to me is actually Gmail. Since all of my YouTube stuff, you know, my personal stuff are always on that. Done. After that, we can competently change it to a nice beautiful chrome search bar which is actually a lot more nicer than the crappy google one that has been on phone for decades. Ok done, so our next one is google optimization which is only available for samsung phones. But still, you can do a thing or two on google phones as well. So first of all we got quick start which can redesign our quick panel like that but i'm not gonna do that because i don't want to make this phone janky so we got home up which has an upgraded one year at home so when you see the recent app it normally scrolls like this right so now when we head back to good lock and then go to task changer and turn it on and put another new setting look what happened to the look that's much better all right anyways after we done that there are some pretty much unnecessary stuff there uh, now we can change our navigation bar so it normally came with a crappy you know back uh, home and we sent that one but we're gonna change it to something more cheesy so the back button is a piece of cheese the home button is a burger and the next thing is a piece of you know pizza or something uh, next we can customize our keyboard so default is like this so crappy and uh, now we are going to change it to something else. So you can create presets using the theme park app. So make sure you download that as well. I already made a preset. So also you can change the effects when you click on it. You can change the motion effect that's also on it as well. Which is pretty cool and um, pretty customizable. And it's kind of unique as well. So let's do some customizing. After that. Did you know that you can also change the what happens when you press the button? Yes, you can do that too. Also, you can add different touch sounds when you're pressing the keys, which is, uh, you know, kind of a haptic keyboard trick. After that, you can hear a lot of sounds like calm, fun, pink, space touch. So I like pink because uh, that sounds really good. There, now it's pretty much really cool animations and all that. See? done anyways after that we will go back and um yeah so we will customize the screen several 
So I guess that's it for today guys. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you can customize your phone really well. Until next time, it's me, Mr. Goldman. Cool